Let me show you this little device here. This is a complete computer inside this black device here. And this is a small light. The light is being controlled by the software and the software is running inside this device here. This is one example of physical software. Physical software is a hundred times more easier than electronics, hundred times more simpler than computing, and hundred times more cheap. The easiest way to explain physical software is to look at this diagram. At the top we have the traditional PC and at the right we have the smartphone and at the left in the red we have uh, physical software. So the PC is a device that tries to primarily to amplify our mind and we call it uh, software. So the smartphone in the green is something that enrich our social life so we call it, it uh, social software and the in the red the physical software is something that are going to extend our physical body so we call it uh, physical software because it is connected with our physical body so in the same way that the PC give us a lot of intellectual power and the smartphone uh, make our social life much better. We believe that uh, physical software are going to extend our physical body, giving us much more power. And what we believe to be the most important thing here is that these three kinds of software can interact. So software in the PC interacting with the uh, social software in the smartphone and interacting together with physical software. So in this sense, physical software is the third and final and completing stage of the uh, software revolution started with PC. Now we believe software revolution is complete so with physical software software now is mature enough to do stuff in the intellectual area in the social area and in the physical area So we believe that uh, physical software represents a powerful and revolutionary way to see software because it is a combination of the best from the traditional electronics and the best from the traditional software in something better, simple and easy. So let's build our little demonstration. Let's place the microcontroller here and then let's connect the negative pole and then let's connect the positive pole and now let's place the small light here. Okay, that's it.
Now anyone can make real material things that behaves with intelligence. You can make software to sense what's happening in the material environment and then create some action in response to what is happening.